How long do criminal cases take before they're resolved? Criminal cases can take anywhere from months to years to reach a resolution. Most criminal cases are resolved without a jury trial, so they're set on pretrial dockets. In some courts, you know that you're going to get three to six pretrial settings before the judge puts you on the contested trial docket. In other courts, you are set on pretrial settings until the judge decides you're going to be set on the contested trial docket, and that could last six to 18 months, depending on how big the court's docket is. At our firm, we're known for being proactive, and so we are able to get resolutions, oftentimes faster than many other attorneys, but we'll never sacrifice outcomes for speed. So being proactive can help reduce the number of times that you have to go to court and how long your case is gonna take, but that's only one of many factors. The other big factor is how many cases are pending in that court. If your felony prosecutor has 200 cases versus 500 cases they've got to review, that's going to make a big difference on their availability to respond to offers or make counter offers. Similarly, in misdemeanor courts, prosecutors often have over a thousand cases that they have to look at. The sheer volume of cases is going to slow down their ability or availability to respond to any particular case that's on their docket. Your attorney will guide you through ways that you can resolve your case more quickly if that is what's best for your case. However, in other cases, using time to your advantage makes sense. For example, if you have an unreasonable prosecutor on your case, your attorney might decide to wait them out. They might get promoted, leave the office, or get rotated into a different court, meaning you could have a new prosecutor reviewing your case and perhaps making a better offer. Also understand that sometimes cases need to be set on the trial docket. If you have an unreasonable offer, if they're asking you to plead guilty to something you didn't do, or they're offering you prison time on something that you shouldn't do prison time on, then it certainly makes sense to reject every offer, even if that means you're going to court once a month for 18 months or two years to ultimately get to a trial. So while the duration or length of a criminal case is important, it's certainly not gonna be the most important thing you're thinking about during this process. Texas courts have to follow a number of rules in determining which cases get set for trial first. For example, if you're in custody waiting for your day in court, you get precedence over individuals who are out on bond. Similarly, cases involving victims under the age of 14 take precedence over other cases. So if you're out on bond on a case that doesn't involve a child victim, you're gonna be on a list that is lower than the other list. And it may take multiple trial settings before you're actually reached for trial. All these factors affect how long it might take for a criminal case to be resolved. If you're facing a criminal charge in Fort Worth or North Texas, and you're looking for an attorney, give us a call at 817-203-2220.